All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Creamer. I am with Brian the Grizzly, Brandman Brandon, and we got Anzo from Bigger Ford Entertainment. What is up? What's up, guys? All right. Um, so talk. we are, yeah, we're gonna talk about this Roadhouse. Uh, not the original. We're gonna talk about this new one with Jake Jalen Hall, uh, Conor McGregor. That's about it. <laughs> when <laughs> famous people, there wasn't that many famous people in this one. Um, but so before we get into our review, uh, Anzo, you want to give a shout out to your channel where people can find you? Yes, the name on the bottom, Big Afford Entertainment. That's where you guys can find me. Just punch it into the YouTube search and you'll be able to find me there. Again, thanks for having me again, guys. Always a pleasure. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, if you guys get a chance to watch the OOC off our chest, it's awesome. I, I enjoy watching that a lot because I mean, they be saying stuff. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, yeah, I'll be screaming at my, my computer monitor. Yeah, so <laughs> it's really good. So yeah, please check it out. Well, no, you're always welcome. But I know you do your show on one on Wednesdays. So do you have know, it? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like no, he's on seven days a week. Day. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I'll put a link uh, right up here. Uh, you go follow him, and also in the description. So make sure you go check out uh, Big Ford Entertainment. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you came out for something else, and you said you wind up watching Roadhouse. So I'm like, all right, well, we can talk about this Roadhouse movie. Um, yep. yeah, so we'll get into our ratings at the end with some of our likes and dislikes. But Brian, you got a quick uh rundown of what this movie's about? One of the quickest synopsis ever <laughs> ex UFC fighter uh Dalton takes a job as a bouncer at a Florida Keys Roadhouse, only to discover that this paradise is not all it seems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. I, guess. I mean, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like I said, there's really not that many famous people. Jake Zillon Hall, Conor McGregor, Billy Magnuson. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Post Malone was in it for a little bit. Post Malone, yeah. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. Boys, the, the guys and everything. What's um, name? Uh, Daniela uh, Melquire. Mel, 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 Melquire. Melquire. However, you say it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's she's cute. That's about as much as I can mm-hmm. say about it. That's, that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll go around the horn with our uh, our likes. We'll start off with Anzo, Brandon, Brian, and me. What what, what you like about this one, Anzo? Um, I liked like the beginning of it. You know, the first half of the movie, I thought it was really good. A um, couple of the fight scenes I liked. I think Jake Dillenhall pretty much did a pretty good job, and he had this like little comedy to the stuff when he was doing things. You know what I mean? Slap a dude in his face and be like, "Oh, I just slapped you." or taking them to the hospital and stuff like that. So I really liked that. Um, Acting was, other than Conor McGregor, was okay. And like I said, the story at the beginning had me intrigued. I I liked the the fact that he was a UFC fighter, right? And you're getting to see what happened throughout the movie with the UFC stuff and why he's the way he is. So I liked all of that stuff. But then it goes off the rail so that's the stuff that i like the most to be honest with you mm-hmm. okay well you uh brandon um i like that it delivered exactly what it promised just um jake gyllenhaal just just a bunch of people beating the hell out of each other um i um thought jake gyllenhaal is you know i've never really seen a performance from him that i didn't that i didn't um, enjoy or that he did do a, at least a serviceable job in so I thought it did good there. Um, I liked most of the fight choreography. There were some like kind of scenes that were weirdly like kind of CG, and I know there was there was like a big kind of fuss about that. Um, it didn't really take too much away from the movie for me. I thought uh, I thought Conor McGregor was fun to watch. <laughs> I, I just I, I loved how unhinged he was. He was like a GTA character. Um, <laughs> You know, um, so I thought it was fun in in that regard. Um, I wasn't really too attached to the original Roadhouse to get too outraged about a remake. So, and and really, like the several times that I have watched the the uh, original Roadhouse, it was entertaining. But you know, I, it's not like it was high art, so I, so I just couldn't get get angry about a remake. Um, I um, I thought it was very much to the point. Uh, uh, Billy Magnuson is just like building a very good career off of just 
playing a deplorable douche, just a punchable <laughs> douche. Um, part of the reason he is one of my fan casts for, for Booster Gold. But, um, but, but yeah, um, it, it was, it, it, it delivered what I expected. By the way, Jake Gyllenhaal is like total fitness goals. Like now I want to get that. Like I, I want to like, I, I need his fitness plan, dude. Like his fitness and diet plan. Come on. <laughs> F that man. I like eat. I want to eat some steak. I like popcorn too much, man. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> uh, no, bro. I'm okay with having almost six pack. I'm okay with having, mm-hmm. you know, decent R, you know. I'm, I'm okay with mm-hmm. that, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be a monster. I just I'll I'll bench five hundred. I don't need to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> What, what okay, you, so what you like the, the parts. Uh, the first half of the movie, I really thought that it was going to a, po- a point where this could be really good. I was watching it, explained it well. You didn't need to watch the first uh, first one to really understand what was happening. I was enjoying it. You know, once again, the the fight scene when he slaps all the people and drives to the hospital, that's awesome. That's mm-hmm. like the greatest. And then they all just sitting there in the hospital, like he's like bump. You know, he's all sitting there. It's, just, it's hilarious, you know. And, uh, and then he just walks, walks off, off like he, he was so in control. And I think, and that's the part about the second part that I liked was that he was like, "I'm afraid to not be in control because when I get out of control, none of you guys can stop me." I, I I enjoyed seeing that. You know, there's other things that I didn't enjoy, and mm-hmm. Conor McGregor is not one of the guys, the things that I enjoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and let take off. um i i I thought the fight scenes were were pretty were pretty good right off the bat which is what you kind of want um i mean they could have been better but i'll get into that in a little bit they were they were good enough you know um you know like story-wise was was i was into it and but i was waiting for like this giant I said it's not even a bad thing. Like, like the story was good enough, you know, and kind of what Brian was saying, like seeing his trauma build up, I thought was interesting. You know, like mm-hmm. you know why he's so afraid and why he doesn't let people around him and stuff like that. Because you're just like, oh, like what's going on? Who, like, what do you do? You know, and you start seeing the glimpses. So I was like, okay, that's good. Um, you know, and kind of what Brandon said too. Like Jake, you know, I'm not a big fan of him, but yeah, you know, anyways, he's not a great actor, man. <laughs> you know, it was like. He's, it, it, I mean, he's not going to win an Oscar for this movie, but he's he was pretty good in this one, you know. You know yeah. And seeing his nonchalant kind of attitude, and then kind of switch over to like psychopaths, you know, a little bit. So you know, definitely somebody with his acting, you know, prowess can could do something like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's. I think about it. It looked cool. I think I thought the actual like Roadhouse was it. It didn't make sense, but it looked awesome. Like it made me mm-hmm. want to go to Florida. I'm like, fuck, I wanna I usually go to Anna Marie yeah. Isle in, in the Why keys. Why am I going to Orlando? I didn't go to the key. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, the keys are gorgeous in, in Florida, you know, any of the keys. So it just made me want like nah, man, I want to go to the beach now. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I'll get into some of the comments in in, uh, in a little bit. Um, but what about your dislikes? What didn't you like about this movie, Anzo? So the second half of the movie is, I think it's when Conor McGregor comes in where I really started to feel it goes a little bit over the top, right? And mm-hmm. then, like I said, I like the fact that, you know, he was like, oh, you know, if I do anything, you know, you don't want me angry type of way. But then he starts killing people. And I'm just like, okay, now we getting a little bit too far here. He killing people, getting away with it, like nothing. And I just didn't feel that. So I think it kind of switched during the second half of the movie. Plus you had, you know, at the beginning, he fights that guy where he slaps him in the face, whatever. You know what I mean? It seems like he's going to be like maybe the com- comedian bad guy. And then he just like ends up being like completely nothing. For the rest of the movie after conor mcgregor comes in you know what i mean so it's like he took a, a back seat to conor mcgregor and it just kind of felt eh, maybe you should have had conor mcgregor more in the movie to have them build up this tension like a real tension like he's there from the start you know they're not really fighting but you know just and i think that would have worked a little bit better for me but um 
yeah, like I said, just at the towards the end of the movie, it got to maybe a little bit like more like some action type of movie. They're going on the boat. You know what I mean? Like you knew, you knew he didn't kidnap the girl. Why did you even want to go? You know what I mean? Like you knew he was lying. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll see you guys there. And then I would have went to the road and did something else. You know what I mean? So that's where I thought it kind of fell off for me. Like the second half of the movie really kind of uh, yeah. took away from a yeah. lot. Well, what are you, Brian, man? I, I'd, I'd agree with that. You know, like the uh, second half kind of felt like um, some of it belonged in a completely different movie. You know, we had these kind of grounded, well, you know, for the most part, grounded kind of UFC style martial arts fights. And then it, and then from there, it like goes off into like a super action movie, like a, um, like, like a, like a born movie almost. Mm-hmm. Um, coincidentally, the dude who directed this did direct the first porn identity movie. So coincidence, I think not. Um, it, it, um, and yeah, I also agree the the Conor McGregor character just kind of randomly took center stage. For, you know, you think the Billy, uh, Magnuson character is going to be like the main antagonist kind of, um, not unlike the, uh, I forgot the, the character's name that, uh, Patrick Swayze was like the big bat that he was up against in the original, but original. I was kind of thinking that, um, that Magnuson was going to assume that role. Conor McGregor just kind of felt, um, kind of shoehorned just because the, the, the main character in question, in question was a, uh, was a former UFC fighter and Conor McGregor so synonymous with, with UFC. So it, it felt kind of obligatory in that regard. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that some of his over the topness, as fun as it was to watch, some of it just kind of felt pretty unnecessary. Like him, you know, stealing a uh, driver's ed uh, car and getting drunk in it and smashing it into a tree. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, oh yeah, love crashing cars. Yeah, it's like, it's like cars yeah, it's like. Uh, you know, it was hammering the point home at that point. Like, oh, this dude's a douche. We get it. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I'd, I'd say those were my big, my big things too. And uh, that, that was that was mostly it for me. Okay. What are you, Brian? I mean, kind of piggybacking up what everyone else said. Kind of McGregor. I feel like him walking around like the, a bushwhacker the entire second <laughs> half and just. And being naked so many times, it was like, all right, I understood after the first time. You don't need to, I don't need to see it t- two more times. And then, honestly, I feel like someone should just come in and punch him in the face. Conor McGregor lost too many fights for me to just all, all, all believe that no one else in the world is going to be in a punch to do in the face. It's just, it's hard for me to you know, get over that. Like, I've seen them fight. I know. You know someone else can go, that's not that big, punch him in the face. I, I don't know. I just I I, I didn't leave that w- that much with him. Uh, and then, as I said, the first half was grounded. It it kind of like it's a real life how things are really going. And then it kind of just went to this superhero thing. I was like, all right, mm-hmm. so you able to fly now? You able to pick people up <laughs> off the? You, know, you guys are like six feet tall, one hundred and sixty pounds. You ain't picking nobody up. What are you talking about? Like, what is really going on? <laughs> it's like I, mm-hmm. I didn't understand. You know, Conor McGregor like. Gets thrown off a boat going 100 miles an hour, and then he's like, I'm just gonna f- fly off of there. I'm good. You know what? It doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. <laughs> the, mm-hmm. the water's like a brick. Like it, w- it went so unbelievable. Um, I didn't, I don't think I enjoyed those parts, even though I love the fight scenes for fun, you know. But that was it. I just I thought the story got lost. Like, you don't remember yeah. that the actress, you know, I think. Her, to, uh, Jessica Williams. You don't remember her from in in, in the second. You half forget movie. about her. She, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The whole thing is hers. Like they had nothing to do with that at all. Um, yeah. I just I I loved the little girl, her dad. I thought that was cool, but just it just shift, it shifted so much in the second half. It just didn't make sense. It's almost like two different movies. Absolutely. And what I liked about the original, right, is when. Patrick Swayze, like, when he really, like, okay, I got to stop these guys, it was because his best friend got killed. You know what I mean? So it was more of an emotional attachment to him. Now, I understand he had a little bit of attachment to the family that 
gut burn and stuff like that. I understand that. But I think more of an emotional would have been if it was actually the woman he was working for. You know what I mean? They didn't have to burn down the place or kill her, but maybe hurt her in a way to where he's like, okay, now I see what's going on. I got to stop them. You know, I think that would have been a little bit more better than to just do it the way they did it. So, yeah. And that, that was my thing. Cause like, like I do agree with like, as soon as the second half started and like, they, they just went completely off the wall. And I was like, you killed a dude because they set fire to somebody's like building. I mean, which sucks. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. But you you kill somebody for that shit. Like they didn't mm-hmm. even kill the the little girl or her dad or anything. You know, it's like like what? <laughs> like that yeah. I thought that was crazy. You know, it's like like I I could be wrong, but wasn't that the first death in, in the film? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was, was the first person. Was the good guy killing the bad guy? And yeah. I'm like it, it and it felt weird. And also I mm-hmm. felt like it was trying to do a force. Like, uh, like, like paying respect to the original where he like ripped the dude's throat out, out, you know. Mm-hmm. But it, it, it just felt like kind of like he just like did like a you know, kill Bill, like tapping his throat, and it's like, ah, you can't breathe now. I was like, is that how that works, yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, and also, like, he knew like all this like anatomy and bi- uh, biology kind of stuff. I was like, bro, like. Like are you a like, deep like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, I mean? so, you know so I I did think that was kind of like funny. Um, but yeah, that second half of the movie was just so off the wall. But Conor McGregor, man, it just like who's so so somebody in, in in the chat was just like, you see his his butt way too much. I feel like you've seen more of Connor's mm-hmm. bare ass more than Hugh Jackman. Like mm-hmm. it was just like you start off seeing him naked and you see him like again at the end of the movie is like the last shot of this film was a post credit scene of Conor McGregor's ass, you know, doing his stupid Conor McGregor walk, you know, and mm-hmm. oh, man, it's just, he was so annoying. He was so annoying and not in Absolutely. a good way, like a good bad guy annoying. It was just like, he constantly had a stupid grin. He only had like one level of acting that mm-hmm. he just maintained the entire time. You know, he, he was like you acting. Know. Yeah. You said be me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what he was doing. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and to your point where it gets to the superhero stuff, right? Because when they're mm-hmm. going to the boat, he crashes the boat in, he f- jumps over the boat, and I'm like, okay, where is all this coming from all of a sudden? You know yeah. what I mean? Or are we mm-hmm. watching Vin Diesel? Vin Diesel now? So yeah. that's where I'm like, it, it got too kind of like, you know, okay. Fell down and said, Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> that was a roadhouse. Like this, <laughs> um, but who was, I saw somebody else in here was um, also said it's like Eric Xavier, the roadhouse itself looked dope. Why would anyone want to fight in a place like that? I mean, I I kind of agree. I'm like, the whole thing was like, Gord, you're on the beach, you, you know, mm-hmm. you're, you're in the golf, gorgeous, it's like tropical, it's gorgeous, it's nice, you know, and it's just like to start fights like i don't know like if if it was more of a hole in the wall kind of like in the original like it, it would have made a little mm-hmm. more sense on why they were the constant fighting but it's just like mm-hmm. it's just like florida Brand biker new. gang like like who who's there fighting you know like tourists yeah. maybe but mm-hmm. they, they didn't really explain it and post malone in the beginning i'm like oh it's gonna be one of these movies we're after the <laughs> yeah yeah like, all right, we're we're, we're yeah. He was he was just there for the sake of being there for yep. two minutes. Yep. Yeah. But I did like the fact when he comes when Dalton comes into the ring and he's like, you know who that is? I'm not fighting this guy and leaves. You <laughs> yeah. know. And yeah, I I thought I said okay, so maybe that's the setup, right? They're doing this little hustle, and that's going to be the friend that comes to the roadhouse to help him mm-hmm. and gets killed or something like that. I thought that's where they were going with that. And they didn't. It was just, you know, show how bad yeah. Dalton was, I guess. Yeah. 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 First, first the Irish guy is in in Italy, I think, and then he gets called, yeah. and then he ends up in Florida. I was like, Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. And my brother said it's Florida. They were probably fighting gators. There was a gator in this one too. Yeah. He ate oh me. yeah. He ate. Yeah. It ate me. It ate yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the dog because they brought that up like at least a dozen times. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, you whatever his name was, was walking around here to get ate him. Oh, yeah, 
Well, the the gator was the first death then, if you want to put that. Oh right. yeah, technically. Yeah. yeah, the gator was the first death. Well, the dog was will what... technically be the first death too. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off screen, <laughs> you can't feel, feel bad for the little dog. But we keep things nice and simple here. Spoiler Kings now, later, never. Now means you got to watch it right now before it gets spoiled. Later means you can wait till you get some time and watch it whenever. And never means just skip it completely. It's not worth your time. Uh, Anzo, what are you giving Roadhouse? Um, Roadhouse for me, I'll give it a later. I don't think it's a horrible movie. It has some good moments in it, some fun moments. So I think if you want to watch it, it's not a big rush to do it, but it's something that you can watch for sure. So I'll give it later. Okay. Right, man. I'd actually do the same. I'd, I'd give it a later, um, you know, especially with it being on streaming. I, uh, <sighs> sorry. I, I think it's like a, it's like a Sunday or it's it's like a Sunday afternoon or like weekend when you're not doing anything or evening when you're not doing anything type of watch. Um, nothing really extravagant or mind blowing, but it's a it's a decent time waster. So I'd give it a later. Okay. How about you, Brian? Super later. First <laughs> half was good. Second half was like, eh. you you watch it when there's nothing else on, and NCAA team like. Your bracket is busted, and you're about to like go to sleep, but you got like uh, two hours to do nothing. You're like, ah, eh, why not throw it on? Yeah, works. That's all we need. But it's, it's not a terrible movie, but it's not good either. So yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the best way to put it. It's not terrible, but it's not good. You know, and that's yeah, mm-hmm. definitely a later movie. So at the end of the at the end of this movie, I was thinking, I'm like, oh, this would be really good to play before a UFC fight. Like, you know, while everyone's coming into the house, you're getting the food ready, you're making some plates, and it's, like, throwing on the TV. Because at any given point, you can just turn and look at it and be like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and then that's it, you know? <laughs> like, you know, it's... It, it had promise, and then it kind of, like, really failed at the end. Um, but it's, it, it was fun. I had a fun time with it. But mm-hmm. I'll, I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. So, um, so there's that. And then Ron Tomatoes. The critics, uh, 162 critics at 60%. And then the audience with a 1,000 audience ranking, which I believe this one might be a little bit more off with the audience because there's no verified audience. Um, but it, it's still at a 56%. So oh, pretty close than I expected. I expected the audience to be a little bit higher than that. Um, but, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, it's on, uh, on Amazon. So, you know. Most people have Amazon, so you can go watch it mm-hmm. whenever. Mm-hmm. But cool. Um, you know, shout out to Anzo. Uh, you want to give another uh um let people know where they can find you at? You guys know where to find me at. I just want to say make sure you guys check out these guys every time they do stuff, man. Very entertaining content. I have fun watching you guys, man. It's a pleasure just to be on the stream with you guys, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. We all do. Yeah, absolutely. We- we always enjoy when, uh, you know, when we get guests and, and it's just like part of the family. You know what I mean? Like we all mm-hmm. just well, like you should be here all the time. I got it. It works. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So I would appreciate, appreciate uh, Anzo, Big Afford Entertainment. Uh, put, like I said, the link will be up there in the description. Go check him out. Um, but make sure you hit that subscribe button here on Spoiler Kings. Make sure you hit, like, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the 2024 remake of Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal, Conor McGregor. Um, do you like it? Do you hate it? Any funny parts? Any bad parts? Let us know. Um, but we appreciate everyone on the replay checking us out. And if you're watching live, stick around because we're going to move on to our next topic.